It's safe to go into the area under the explosion about two minutes after it occurs. Not even the atomic bomb burst, man's bold adventure in releasing atomic power, is the DDT of humanity from which there is no escape. For it has its known limits, calling for preventive measures as clear-cut as those doctors lay down in telling people how to ward off infectious diseases. The first and obvious one is, be someplace else when it happens. Atomic warfare, for instance, might allow little choice in the matter. So if you can't stay away from it, you must stay with it, as safely as possible and properly protected. Proper protection is based on what we know about the penetration of gamma rays and neutrons. The ability of a shielding material to stop them is expressed in half thickness. The thickness necessary to reduce the radiation's intensity one half. In dealing with gamma rays, the half thickness of a very dense material like steel is one inch. That of concrete less dense is three inches, while 12 inches of wood, which is quite porous, is required. Against neutrons, the density of a material is not so important as its ability to slow down and capture the particles. Concrete, earth, and water furnish good shielding. The best shelters, then, against the gamma and neutron bombardment released by an atomic explosion are strong, reinforced structures. That prompt bombardment of a high aerial burst is severe but short-lived, since it is carried up into the stratosphere. It's safe to go into the area under the explosion about two minutes after it occurs. 